back with the My Stark of the Arena number 6, powered by Daily Motion, and we're getting into our next match, which is Liquid Red versus Majestic. This is another best of 5 coming in, and this time there's 200 euros on the line, so that would add up to 300 euros for Liquid Red if he wins this best of 5, or just 200 for Majestic, and he gets the, chan the chance to win another 300 and another 400 if he wins his next two series. Our first map is Vani Research Station, and they have spawned on the bottom half of the map, spawned as the blue zerg here on Vani Research Station. He's playing for Team Liquid, it is Red. And his opponent spawned as the pink Protoss, currently a free agent, uh, was with Mouse Sports earlier, but he is a free agent now, looking for a team, so he's gonna give us his, his all to show off what just what he can do. He is majestic. And I, I've heard that he's actually doing quite well lately. Um, I think he did quite well in the WCS qualifiers. Uh, if I remember correctly, he did qualify, but I think I'll have to look that up. And, well, I mean, uh, really making a spl splash lately. One of the uh, few remaining uh, Spanish players. So that's something you don't see every day now that Vortex and Lucifron are basically gone from the scene and have moved on to Heroes of the Storm, and are doing quite well for themselves there. And we'll have to see what Liquid Red plays out this time. Was quite fond of his uh, Ling Bling Muta style, which could work versus Majestic, but um, to be honest, I don't think I've ever casted Majestic, so I don't know what, what his preferred style is. But uh, looks like Liquid Red playing uh, a little bit a little bit ballsy here, going for hatch first versus Protoss, but you can pull it off. Uh, he already sent out two overlords, of course, one to the main, so he can put himself in a safe spot over here, and one to the natural, so he can uh, be safe over here, and just scout out when those geysers are being taken. And Majestic is going for Nexus first, so it looks like Liquid Red made the right call to go for hatch first. He has a chance to go for triple hatch before pool, but this... I don't know, I mean, you know, Liquid Red, he used to be the Drone King, um... He might actually do it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he's going for it. I have not cast that many matches on Vani Research Station, so I'm not too sure if, if this might be standard, but... It sure seems ballsy out of Red. But yeah, uh, he used to be the Drone King, so... There goes that. And finally going for that spawning pool. Of course, uh, we have double gas coming out of Majestic and going for that gateway. This will be scouted by Liquid Red, just now reaching the ramp and he will see that he's quite fond of himself and knows that he is quite safe. And Cybercore to close this off, so he just needs a single Zealot to uh, close off this gap and be safe from Zergling runbys. And there is the first Zealot being produced. He's not gonna skip that, I think, um, just to be safe since he hasn't had a chance to scout just yet. He doesn't even know there's um, that 3 hatch before pool coming out. And also going for double assimilator right now, also taking 3 workers in, in both geysers. I think that's um, uh, um, showing that yeah, he might go for some earlier tech here. We'll have to see to see when he takes those 3rd uh, and 4th gases. And Red just now producing uh, 2 queens as the 3rd one. And we'll just happily macro up for now. And once he actually goes into the natural, sees okay, there's another base there, but he should have seen this from the timing. Um, just seeing, okay, the gateway is a little bit too late, um, there's probably a nexus in the back, and it's just safe to assume so. Mothership Core is coming out, and there's that Taka stock uh, spoke about. Just a Stargate coming out for Majestic. Probably just gonna produce uh, an Oracle here, just to try to get a couple drone kills, and just be a general nuisance coming in every once in a while, and uh, just harass with those Oracles. Let's see if he's gonna go for um, a few, or just one at a time. Oh, probably just one, since Liquid Red will scout at the Stargate, and might go for more Spores, or just add in a couple Queens. Uh, queens is... I, I, well, I prefer Queens, but I think most players will just add in a few Spores. And, oh, he's not even going for that Oracle. Oracle would have been more useful if um, if that wasn't scouted. 
but I think now that it is scouted, uh, Phoenixes are definitely the better idea here. Uh, just gives you a little bit of an edge when it comes to Mula production and dealing with those later on. So just having having Phoenixes available also helps out quite a bit if you're uh, trying to fend off against Roaches. So Liquid Red, adding in two geysers here uh, into his main, uh, also adding those two additional geysers in his natural, and that layer tech is coming out for him as well. Behind this, Majestic just going for more Phoenix production. He's not chrono boosting them out now, there's no real reason to. Um, he first needs a little bit of a gateway army, uh, otherwise he'll just lose the ground fight and I think this is definitely the right call to be made here. Majestic, ooh, interesting move. He's going for... Uh, going for that void... Uh, for, for that... Um, Jeez, I haven't start, casted Starcraft in ages. What's the transporter called again? <laughs> void? It's not Void Prison. It's, is it? Oh. Can you guys help me out? Um, and the Forge is coming out for Majestic. So finally going for those upgrades for his gateway units. And, yeah, the Phoenixes are just looking for a few stray overlords. Looks like they might be able to pick up this one. Nope, it's flying by, passing by. And Liquid Red has reacted to this. He's gotten a few spores, um, is going for speed upgrades now and getting infestation to, infestation to hit. Majestic, can you make another move here? No, we have pretty much spores everywhere. Just a single spore, so Red isn't... Um, isn't overreacting to any of this, but oh, warp prison, not warp prison, warp prison. There it goes. Yeah, so that warp prison actually doing some decent work here at the third, just with a simple zealot run by. Zealot warp in now taking out the queens. Spore is coming in to deal with the with the phoenixes, but only two, three queens, and just now going for 28 links. Uh, I think these zealots will actually do a lot of work here. Um, a lot of queens will get picked off. And 38 links, they're spawning now, quite a few are spawning, they don't have, they have speed now, plus one is still not done, so people lose quite a few links here in this engagement, and the, uh, these uh, Zanons are in a good spot, uh, Queen's from behind, I think he might be able to clear this off, nope, more Zealots coming in, the Phoenixes are looking at these Queens, so you will get one, maybe another one here, it's a few more Phoenixes to deal with this, but, wow, Majestic definitely doing some work here. So far he hasn't really killed too many workers, still uh, the advantage for Liquid Red, he's just churning out links, the plus one upgrade is coming in now, but more and more Zealots just coming out. Majestic, he has he has something prepared behind this, he's going for Colossus tech, also has that plus one upgrade almost ready, Thermal Lens is halfway done, so he can definitely pull something off here, and the third is gone. And by third I mean natural, because, well, this, well, I mean, no, it's not technically, well, kind of hard to to just say which one is the natural here. And Liquid Red never had a chance to um, to get any infest infestors out to, to deal with those zealots. I think this might have been the right call to just save one larva for, or one or two larvae for infestors, and then he could have just cleaned those zealots off, no problem. Majestic might not get to finish uh, this natural, but I think he will. Yeah, with the Colossus out, second Colossus coming out, and that plus one upgrade, uh, I think he's just gonna be fine. And he's actually ahead of Liqu Liquid Red now. He's gonna have to rebuild, and he's actually double expanding with this. Good idea, definitely a good move. And uh, just one way to make a comeback possible, but right now he's just throwing away links. He's not gonna be able to deal with this Colossus. There are a few Corruptors coming out and plus one upgrades, so he could still go for Mutas later on, but as long as Majestic has um, has a few Phoenixes out, and I think he will continue with Phoenix production now that he sees the Corruptors, um, yeah, I think uh, Liquid Red will have to think of a different move. I mean, he could try to make something happen by just having more and better upgrades. But in the end, he, he needs to kill off a lot of workers here to catch back up. That, or just have these bases go completely uncontested, and Majestic going for a late 4 of that could work as well. He scouts this out, knows what's up, might lift off a couple drones, yep, some free kills coming his way. 
Ooh, Phoenix quite low and he hasn't rebuilt yet, but he is going for Void. Uh, oh jeez, I really did... <laughs> I did really completely forget what all these units are called. Um, what are they called again? Void? Void? Everything with Void is just screwing me up. <laughs> oh jeez, well, we figured it out once it gets out. Come on, get produced, get produced. Void Ray, Void Ray, Void Prism, Void Ray, okay. Uh, and Face Prism is that other one, okay. Good. I think I'm getting the hang of this again, somewhat. <laughs> Phoenix is still active on the map, still somewhat drawing Liquid Red back. But possibly not enough. He's not, he's still not going back into Phoenix production, just sticking to Void Rays for now. And Mutas, they need to re-rally. He needs those Mutas with his main army. And ooh, they might get to pick up a few of these of these Phoenixes. Yep, that's working quite well for Liquid Red so far. But the main army, trying to make a move on his fourth base. And I don't think he's scouted any of this yet. Mothership Core is with that army, so I think Majestic is going to be able to make a recall if this doesn't work out. But ooh, nice pickup. It's a few stalkers without doing uh, all that much. Oh, and that first Colossus being picked off here. I think with the Void Rays, uh, he needs to watch out. He needs to have an answer to these. And I don't think that Mutas are the right idea here. Should probably get a few more Corruptors out. I mean, Mutas can work, but he should go in into the natural. Maybe do a little bit of um, eco damage and then come back and try this. Or just try to pick off, um, try to pick off the Stargate. Uh, Links are trying to come in here. Good force field, good time warp. And this is shielding most of these stalkers, but he's taken out he's taken out the Colossi. And once the Colossi are gone, he just needs another round of links to kill off these stalkers, but I think it's way too many stalkers. He's gonna lose most of his mutas here. And he doesn't have anything on the ground to stop the stop the stalkers. And those are blink stalkers. They can just uh, stay alive forever if Majestic pulls this off right. So far, well, losing a little bit too much, but it looks like he can pick up this fourth base. Yep, there comes the aggressive blink, gonna focus everything, and there is the 1-0 for Majestic. Alright, I, I think I have to take another look here at um, at the help file just to <laughs> just to realize um, what the units are called again. Jeez, this hasn't happened in ages. Okay, Void, void Ray, screw that up, and... Warp Prison. Okay, what the heck? I know this, right? I mean, I casted StarCraft three weeks ago, so what the heck? Uh, lack of sleep is a bitch. Okay, it looks like the next map is open already. And I'm probably gonna get an invite here pretty soon. So, yep, there's that invite. Next map will be Catalina. And looks like they're ready. Dim -dim -dim. Let's go, have fun. Just waiting for our mod to exit. And they're all ready. That part is left. And I'm just starting here. Catalina. So Liquid Red, uh, maybe not going for that Muta style this time. Catalina was the map uh, he won on, so maybe one of his preferred maps uh, in this matchup, or just any matchup, really. Let's do it. Here we are, on Catalina. And our Blue Zerg spawned at the 1 o'clock position, playing for Team Liquid. He is Rhett. And his opponent spawned as the pink Protoss. Currently teamless, it is Majestic. Yeah, Majestic just pulled off um, solid defense, didn't really let anything slip, and was prepared for Liquid Red. I mean, the early Stargate, those Phoenixes, did a little bit of damage, not too much, but he had them available, he had that early Stargate available, and just reacted to the Corruptors, um, kind of forced out the Corruptors too by playing a few Colossi, and then just made that switch over to complete Blink Stalker production. 
and Liquid Red was entirely overwhelmed. Um, he didn't have any Infestors ready, so was not prepared for this whatsoever. And that was with a 3 hatch before pool, so definitely the most economical opening that Red would be able to pull off. So we'll have to see if he can manage to surprise Majestic somehow. And he's going for hatch or pool once again. Adelina is not quite as big as the last map, but still decently sized, so I think hatch before pool is fine. Triple hatch before pool in this case might not be. Um, I mean, you leave that third hatch really exposed over here. We'll have to see if he's he's mad, if he wants to pull it off. Here comes the scout. Uh, is he actually going to scout? Nope, he's going for triple hatch again. Oh jeez. Um, if, if Majestic just realizes this might be a pattern and goes for crazy amounts of aggression, which is not happening here, I mean, um, did go for an early nexus, now going for gateway. Uh, but he could still capitalize on this, he could uh, follow up with a 4 gate and apply some pressure onto Liquid Red. And the style with always going triple hatch before pool, or um, preferring it at least, um, was a style that... Um, God, I'm forgetting names. I'm not going to pull off m anything from memory here. Um, but it was a style that was uh, quite common for a while and then just got entirely shut down by um, Protoss like Naniwa. Who could just uh, fend it off with a simple 4 8 push and just zealot aggression. Okay, closing it off here with a cyber core. And going for pro production, he has that double assimilator available once again. And this time, uh, the Overlord might take a little bit longer to get there. So, uh, well, he's going for the for Zealot first, so he's not going to be able to get rid of this Overlord um, quickly enough. So the gases will be scouted out, at least one is, and I think Liquid Red will just assume the other one has been taken. And once again, Majestic is going for a Stargate. He's hidden it here in the back of the base. This will eventually get scouted out, but not before um, one or two Phoenixes can be produced. Maybe he's going for an Oracle this time. But I think Phoenixes in the end are probably just the better option. A lot more versatile in the end. Can be used for way, way more things. Can be used late into the late game, while Oracles... Um, pretty much get shut down once you put on uh, a single, single spore. Liquid Red is just content with droning up for now. Already up to 34 workers, but I mean, with that triple hatch, it really takes a while for your eco to get going and then it just explodes. And this is what he's banking on now. Um, Queens will probably start creep spreading here pretty soon because he wants this. Yeah, he wants a creep connection between his natural and the third base. Uh, have it, have that established as soon as possible. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to defend everything. And double gas coming out quite early here uh, from Liquid Red. And this time, Majestic is going for an Oracle. It will get scattered out. Yep, Phoenix is Phoenix was the first thing to come out of that Stargate. But uh, he just flew past the Overlord. We'll go for the other one over here. And Liquid Red scouted everything out. Ooh, he's going straight for a Roach one this time. And sticking to double gas for now. Might be a Roach push coming out of, of Red. I would like to see that. With the Stargate opening, the Protoss is especially vulnerable for a while. But you need to have a follow-up ready. So we'll have to see um, what he has prepared for that. He's going for additional geysers, so... Um, has uh, definitely something planned here, and that goes for hatchery tech. Plus one is coming in for Majestic, and he's also going for that Twilight Council once again, so I would think that Blink is, is one of the uh, more probable options for Majestic, especially since it worked so well in the last game. Oh, Oracle coming in, getting quite a few kills. Five, six, seven... 7, 8, 9, 10, geez, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, this oracle was already worth it. 900 resources killed. 
Oh yeah, that oracle was definitely worth it, and he only lost about half health, and we'll have to regenerate those shields and then just come back in and deal even more damage. So Spore Crawler came out a little bit too late here for Liquid Red. Should have uh, gotten those out once he saw the Stargate put up, or saw that Stargate producing something. So this cost him quite a bit. Um, again, 13 workers taken out, so... He had a pretty huge advantage, but now um, he has to put a few workers back, or put a few larvae back into workers, which is something that he didn't really want to. He wanted to produce a few roaches, he wanted to go into hydras, and um, I mean, this is this is not something that he planned on at this point. Idolist then has finished, but he's not going for any upgrades just yet. The plus one missile attack upgrade will soon get done, and roach speed will soon get done, but not going for Hydras just now, so he might wait a little bit longer and just um, gauge what Majestic's army composition looks like. And if there are a lot of, there are a lot of um, flying units in there, there are a lot of phoenixes, uh, a lot of oracles, or void rays. That's the moment he actually goes for more Hydras. Majestic establishing that third base, and Liquid Red will turn around here. Phoenix comes in, scouts the Hydra den. And he also scouted that. Ooh, nice move. Liquid Red completely cancelling that Spire and going for the Infestation Pit. I like it. Good move. Comes the Envision. And that will give him uh, some uh, some sights on that natural to know when to come in, uh, when to try to dish out a little bit of damage to get rid of these drones over here. And now, finally, Red is going into Hydra Production. Could be a good move, but right now he's uh, he's still missing something to to stop this uh, Blinkstalker push. A lot of sentries are closing in here as well, so he might want to stop them before they reach his uh, his third base or his natural. I mean, he could just jump over here and jump into the main, and then close it off with a sentry, but he doesn't have anything to elevate his sentries in. So Red needs to stop him right here, right now, and I think he can. There's going to be a few force fits coming out on the ramp. Nope, Majestic just waiting uh, to put those down. And the face, face prism is coming in. Oh, come on. Once the face prism is here, I think he's gonna pull off that move uh, by just trying to stop Liquid Red from getting back into his main. But some good force fields helping out quite a bit. Liquid Red can't really get the nice concave he needs here. And the Hydras are just getting picked off by Majestic. Some really, really good. Uh, Blink Stalker control. But now the Hydras can close in. Most of the Blink Stalkers have lost their shields, but I think it's still enough. There comes the aggressive Blink forward, and Majestic will take this out. Can he close off the game though? Most of these Stalkers are dwindling away, but there are the reinforcements coming in. Face Prism should be behind this, and Liquid Red, he's running out of options. He's running out of options quickly. Oracle comes in, will get picked off though. And again, really good Blink Stalker control for Majestic. Next round of Stalkers coming in. And he's just picking off everything from all sides, but Liquid Red, he just needs another round another round of reinforcements to get rid of these Stalkers. Jeez, Majestic has extremely good Blink Stalker control. And that Face Prism is now sitting right on top of his army and reinforce instantly. And now Liquid Red finally taking some eco damage here. Face Prism should back off and get closer to his army so he can reinforce right on top here again. But Blink Stalkers are finally killing drones, so I think he's in a spot where he can probably just finish Red off. Two more Hydras are coming out, but there's the GG. <laughs> Lolz, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Majestic goes for the 2 0. Liquid Red, he's gonna pull off three victories in a row if he wants to advance to the next round and face off against 4 GG. This is not going to be easy, but I mean, he played so well in the first match versus Hero Marine, who's um, who's a really good player, and I don't know, maybe he's not in the, uh, in his best condition right now, but he, he's still a really good player. So, Red should be quite fond of himself, and he now he just kind of needs to get that little bit of energy going to figure out a way to stop Majestic, but I think he was just surprised by the way that Majestic played this out. Kind of prepared for more more phoenixes or even void prism, something like that.
but it just didn't come out. Okay. Yeah, void race rather. Okay, players, are they ready? Let's see. Might need might need a little bit of a break. Come on. Well, Majestic is ready. And at the GHF. Just waiting for Starpod to leave. Okay, and we're good to go. Possibly the last game in the second round here. 200, yeah, 200 euros are up for grabs. If Liquid Red can turn this around, it's three more games. If Majestic wins this, he starts out with 200 euros. Uh, could add in 300 if he wins versus 4GG. And add on another 400 if he takes out Nurcho in the final round. But first, we have our third game in this best of five between our Blue Zerg spawned in the bottom left here on Overgrowth, playing for Team Liquid. He is Liquid Red. And his opponent spawned in the top right as the pink Protoss. He is Majestic. And so far, his play definitely was Majestic. Um, really, really solid wins. Um, no real cheesiness going on, just solid blink stock of control, especially in that last game. He just surprised Red, um, and I mean, he didn't have an answer for it. Um, no infestors out, and I think Liquid Red, that's that's the one thing that Red needs to realize. He needs infestors to, to stop this. Either infestors or swarm hosts. Something something like that to stop the, uh, the good blink stalker control. Um, I mean, blink stalkers are useful, but... They're useful to a point, once you get uh, 8 or 10 Swarm House out, you can't really micro against that anymore. You might be able to get in, do a little bit of eco damage and get out without taking too much losses, but... Um, other than that, you will need to find an answer to deal with the Swarm Host. But maybe Liquid Red just doesn't like Swarm Host. Maybe he hates to play him. Rightly so, to be honest. If he wants to appeal to his fans, but... Um, I mean, if you want to win, that's something you gotta throw in there every once in a while. Alright, so let's see. Is he gonna go for that triple hatch before pool again? Looks like it's gonna be, uh... Gonna be hatch before pool, that's for sure. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. The hatch block. And has it been scouted by Majestic? Yes, it has. And he needs to react to this. Probably gonna go for... yeah. Pulling, pulling workers, or for a zealot right away, and reacting initial like in a sec. And this is probably just desperation move out of Liquid Red. He doesn't get to finish this hatchery. Uh, he's not going to be able to uh, to win this game. I think he's just going to be too too far back. But looks like he's establishing another hatchery over here. Might even go for. Oh, okay. He's going for triple hatch before pool again, and he's gonna cancel this one. So Majestic is gonna lose quite a bit of mining time. Let's see how this plays out. I've not seen this done in quite some time. I mean, I've seen the hatchery being finished and um, then go for some aggression. Then you would usually finish it not in this spot, but over here or maybe in between these bases. <laughs> and he even keeps the drone alive. This is this is a pretty sweet move here by Liquid Red. Just gonna deny this for as long as possible. This It's kind of weird though, because if you're going for triple hatch, you really don't want your opponent to start any aggressive moves early on. And this is kind of what he's forcing Majestic into right now. Because he has two zealots out. Um, he's going for uh, going for gateway research. And what uh, Mothership Core is also finished already. So um, he's definitely going for aggression now. And... Pool just now getting finished. He has the extractor almost finishing up, so speed will be available, but it's gonna take some time to actually go get out on the map. Six links are being produced straight away, and only two queens. So, uh, yeah, he definitely needs a way to deal with these with these zealots. And right now, I don't see it. Okay, that's making a way to turn around, go for that third base. 
probably not gonna do all that much on this third base, and this buys red time to get more links out, to get additional queens out. I think this was probably not the best move for Majestic to do. By the way, he finally was able to get up his Nexus and go for additional gateways. Let's see how ma how many he puts out here. If it's three more, Red might be in trouble. Yeah, good micro with the Zealots, keeping both of them alive for now. Wow, really good Zealot control, but it looks like he will turn around now. Queens are coming in, so yeah, that was a good move. Majestic not gonna push this too hard. And there's Liquid Red coming in, seeing the third gateway. Will he, has a, will he have that second Overlord in position to scout out the main? Not quite yet. And third gateway over here, so definitely a 4 gate. And might be aggression. Ooh, yeah, finally killing that one Zealot. And Red's gonna give chase here, but no, not against the Mothership Core, not without the Queens, that's not gonna work. And we already have Probe hiding the proxy pylon. Is it gonna be scouted here? Look Red, he's looking for it. Should move around. Should scout out on the right side there as well. He missed quite a few spots. I mean, he's still kind of occupied with this with a single zealot in the mothership core, but he should really scout for proxy pylons. He's seen three gates, so he knows there could be pressure incoming. He doesn't see any additional gases, so um he needs to think about this. And right now, I mean he's not really droning up as hard as he could, so I'm still thinking, okay, he probably expects something like this. He has quite a few speedlings out already. 40 more are incoming. And he's going straight for layer tech. Oh, good force fields coming out. Saving most of these sentries, all of them actually for now. But they don't have any force fields available anymore. It's a single sentry that has force field energy. And a single force field is not going to save him here. Oh, there's a recall. And yeah, he gets out safely. Liquid Red should have had a few more queens available here, but I think this 4-gate push is stopped for now and Liquid Red should realize this soon and go back into drone production and I think he does, uh, just adding in a few more few more links, maybe to apply some counter pressure, which probably won't work here, I mean, he has a few more force fits available at this time and now Liquid Red should just drone up and get started with his tech, which will get on the way here pretty soon, Lair is almost done. And the Evo Chamber is coming in, Roach Warren is already finished, so he can do something here. Good force fields, stopping those Zerklings right dead in their tracks. And some good creep spread already for Liquid Red. Doesn't have any creep spread connecting his natural to the third, and this is something he should definitely work on. Otherwise, um, yeah, run by possibilities are definitely an option for Majestic, and just completely overstepping on that third and going straight for the natural is definitely an option. He's moving out again. I don't know about this. Plus one is almost finished, which will help out quite a bit, but Roach is on the way. Plus one missile attacks is on the way. Roach speed as well. So now that he sees this, I think he's just gonna go for more Roach production. Maybe throw out a Baneling Nest, but I doubt it. And if Liquid Red catches Majestic um, while he's out in the open, this uh, this could mean the death of this army, and thereby the death of uh, Majestic in this game. Because if he loses all these sentries, he's definitely a goner. Okay, he's making this move. He has so many sentries available, he might be able to just close everything off. Completely deny on reinforcements from getting in there. Oh, a couple of roaches making their way over here. Oh, they're being blocked. And, yep, he's gonna get a kill here. Nice move. And this many sentries should have tipped Liquid Red off. And if if it gets too hairy, he can just recall. He can just recall out of here. Yep, there's another force field. And I think he's gonna try to get a few more kills, and then we'll recall out of there. Mothership Core should be staying alive here. Yes, they can. I think Queen has been focused. There's another force field to get rid of um, reinforcements, and he will clean off everything here. Oh, you need to leave one sentry back. Uh, come on, timing. Yep, it works. It works. Some free drones for you. And that's already 10 workers killed, plus that hatch. And we have a counter go here by Liquid Red. And oh my gosh! Didn't have a sentry back at home. 
And this will probably kill Majestic. Let's see who wins the space race. Majestic might might want to recall. Yes, he will. But is it going to save him here? He has a single Colossus, but the Roaches are already on top of him. And I don't think he can sidestep this. Nope, he can't. He would have had a single sentry. He would have been so fine. Colossus would have just dealt with the Roaches at, at the front. And now I think Liquid Red has a chance to turn this game around. And yeah, most definitely will. This should be the 1-2. to two. And maybe the start of a comeback here for Liquid Red. But first, Majestic has a say in this. Comes for an overcharge. Bringing out a few remaining roaches, but he doesn't have a second one available just yet. But a few more stalkers are coming out, but Matt is re-rallying into this. But an overcharge should dissipate pretty soon. Yep, it's gone now. And the roaches are on top of the Nexus. A few more roaches over here. Those are getting cleaned off by Majestic. Some good control, focus firing, and retreating his units. But it's just way too many roaches. Majestic taking too many losses here, down to 13 workers. And finally, that Nexus should go down. There's the GG. 1 to 2 for Liquid Red, and possibly the start of a comeback in this best of 5. <clears throat> so, Red will have to win two more games in a row if he wants to advance. But this, should, this would then give him another 200 euros on top of the 100 euros he won versus Hero Marine. And then he would have the chance to go up against 4GG. And if he wins that best of 5, he has the chance to go up against Nurcho and win 400 euros. So 300 euros in the uh, 200 euros in this round, 300 euros in the next round, and 400 euros for the final round against the previous King of the Hill, Nurcho. And if he wins all of those best of five, he's going to go home at the end of the day with a thousand euros in the bank. Um, not a small feat for um, a probably around four hour tournament. So that would be quite nice. And maybe maybe that gives him maybe that gives him the edge here. Be the only player that uh, has the option to even get those thousand euros. I'm going to take a quick small one minute break here and then we'll be right back with our first fourth match between majestic and liquid red all right guys we're back with our fourth map between liquid red and majestic the map is secret spring and we're loading into it right now so uh majestic just said that um he's uh, he should. Uh, he wants to face off against Swarm Host now, but looks like Liquid Red doesn't quite want to build them, at least not for now. All right, let's get started here. We are in our fourth map, in this best of five, and we have him here spawned as the Blue Zerg playing for Team Liquid on the left side here of Secret Spring. He is Liquid Red, and his opponent spawned as the Pink Protoss. Currently teamless, he is majestic. And he's still up 2-1. Two 2-1. To one. Two to one. And was caught out a little bit here by the Red in that previous match. Maybe he's gonna try something different this time. It's definitely a completely different map. Um, a lot smaller than these previous maps, so... You could so see a completely different style here, and I would totally expect something like that. Still making his way over, and we'll scout out, okay, nothing placed down just yet. Oh, yep, yep, there is. Damn, how did I miss this? Uh, you just expect the usual, and then get hit by that 8 pool. See how many links he puts out. Six links. If he puts down eight, that would basically be, um, yeah, that would basically be it. Then he definitely needs to do damage. It's kind of hard to come back from that without doing that much damage. Oops, he's following it up. Oh, okay. Going for gas. No, cancel, of course. You could also go for a tempo with gas. Oh, everything just closed off by Majestic. The early scout definitely saved him here. 
So let's see, two more links. Uh, yep, this is this is it for Liquid Red. He wanted the all-in and he gives it to Majestic. But I don't think he can pull this off. Uh, Majestic is just gonna rebuild. Um, yep, yeah, going for the gateway straight away. I want to close this off with another pylon over here. I don't think if a single pylon is enough. I'm not sure. Maybe he's gonna put on another another gateway over here. But he's just gonna chrono boost out a zealot. And once the zealot is there, uh, this stops this this aggression dead in its tracks. I'm gonna cancel this gateway pretty soon, and double gateway behind this. So yeah, That's pretty much it. Zealot closes everything off, and well, I mean, hmm, he can still do damage, but. He's also following this up with drones, and this has been scouted by Majestic. Okay, this is interesting, I mean, two zealots should be enough to deal with these uh, ten links. If they run by, they could still do some damage, Ooh, some good micro control right now for Red. But he still needs to clean them, clean them off. Ooh, nice move! Ooh, can you get the pylon? Can you get the pylon before anything else finishes? Ooh. Probes are being pulled, and they will get most of the links. So I think we might be back down to zero. We'll have to see. Are there more links falling behind us? Nope, not not really. Red looking to take an expansion here, and yeah, the next zealot will come out pretty soon. So those links are pretty much it. It's all he has available here to do more eco damage, and now just two. He will get another kill. So, this puts them about even. <laughs> about even. Well, the links are you know, buying a little bit of time, just keeping Majestic on his toe and uh, denying a little bit of mining time, so this is still quite good for him. But ideally, he wants to, um, he wants to make something more happen out of this, uh, and it's not gonna, that's not gonna happen. Now the Mothership Core's out, he's gonna get rid of those additional links. Uh, he's going for warp gate research behind this and Liquid Red, um, his expansion only halfway done. But he has 19 workers now versus the 17 of Majestic. Majestic could definitely apply some pressure now. I mean he has a zealot out, he has, has the mothership core out, Stalker will follow behind this so you can definitely put out a little bit of pressure. Liquid Red um, still on one queen, the second one has just started. So he will have to react now with a couple of links. Be, and buy himself a little bit of time before the second queen gets there. After that he should be fine, but this is gonna eat into his uh, his macro quite a bit, so I think it's a good move for Majestic to just try to apply some pressure here. Okay, Mothership Core coming in, going straight for that queen. No good focus fire on those links, he wants to get rid of the queen first, which might be a good idea, but the Zealot will get picked off here, and queen should fall, but the second one is there, so aggression has been stopped. Majestic uh, might actually lose his mothership core here. He's not careful, but the queen off creep. Of course, that's not going to be able to make it over here uh, quickly enough. Majestic has a sentry available. Might go for a second one to be able to close this off uh, after that initial force field has dissipated. Yep, there's the first force field. And going for another sentry, of course, as soon as he can. And speed is on the way for Liquid Red. Looks like he might try something here. He's not in gas, so I wouldn't expect a Baneling bust or anything like that. Also, Majestic was over there, just scouted everything out in, in the natural. Majestic, on the other hand, he just added his natural, um, going for that Nexus over here. It has been scouted. Liquid Red has seen it, so he knows what's going on. Ooh, and I think Liquid Red either looking for aggression or just going for a little bit of a macro opportunity and trying to hide this gold expansion. And he sees the Stargate once again. This has, be the, has been the reoccurring theme in this in this match. Liquid Red always scouting the Stargate. But uh, in the second match, he did lose 14 workers, uh, even though he did scout the, uh, the Stargate. He didn't react in time to uh, deal with the Oracle. And there comes the Robo follow-up. This looks exactly uh, like the second match now. But everything is just quite a bit delayed due to that early early cheese by Liquid Red. 
But Oracle does come out. He wants to try it one more time. I mean, last time Red didn't react, so he has a decent chance he might not react this time either. Spores are coming out, and this time they should get finished before the Oracle gets there. Oracle halfway done, uh, Spores halfway done. Needs a little bit of traveling time. I mean, it's still the uh, Formula 1 unit in StarCraft, but it's not quite as fast. So Spores should get done before the, the Oracle gets in position. And there goes that oracle. Let's see what it does. Ooh, what do we have here? Red's still working on those rocks. Trying to find a way over there. Oh, single queen. It's not gonna be enough here. Oracle will pick that off and the spore crawler coming in. But a little bit too late. So he's gonna pull, pull his workers for now. Uh, we'll lose all three, all four. Nope, not all four. That one is still alive. Ah, but he gets the fourth one that just spawned. And there's the fifth one. Uh, just way too fast that oracle. So this was pretty much already worth it for him and I uh, didn't lose all that much just a little bit of shield, a little bit of health so he can still use it later on and ooh, that's a nice juicy worker train for the next oracle. Yep, and Majestic straight on going for it. That's nice pickups, easy pickups without any any reward, uh, any risk. And 8 kills, not bad. Might get a few more once the energy uh, gets back up there. This one has six kills, so a lot of kills already. Majestic is quite fine at home. He's going for the plus one upgrade, adding in five additional gateways, and going for immortal production. And a nice little zealot run by to get a few more kills here that will get picked off. And like Red trying to get rid of that warp prism, but it gets away. It gets away before he can do anything about it. And ooh, jeez, that oracle is so extremely low. He will lose it. He could have saved this one up and gone back in, maybe picked something off, or at least scouted out what Liquid Red's follow-up is. He's going for another Hydra Den? Okay, that's interesting. Really fast upgrades then? I've not seen this in a while now. Maybe that that might have been a misclick. We'll have to see. I mean, he's delaying that upgrade, so I think it was a misclick. Either that, or the second Hydra Den was placed down. Oh, well, I mean, pretty much in the same spot. Ooh, taking that additional Colossus. And there's the reaction. 12 more Roaches coming out. Roach speed halfway done. And Creep Spread not really all that far out. Not all the way to the third. He really needs Creep Spread if he wants to fight, if he wants to fight Majestic's army. And there's another warp prism coming out. It's gonna find its way into the natural. And right now the natural is pretty exposed. He doesn't have any units over here. Uh, let's see if he gets in position. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like he will. And Liquid Red. I mean he's in a pretty good spot because he, he sees everything on the right side. Uh, he didn't see anything on the left side which is why he's gonna lose so many drones over here. Wow, they're all stacked up and now all clumped together. But I think these roaches might save him for a little bit here. Still, he's losing way too much here. Way too much to just 4 workers. 23 workers killed, that's not bad at all. And at the same time coming in with the main army on that third base and we'll clean that off. There's a recall, just losing a stalker and a zealot. That was definitely worth it for Majestic and he's still at it. Still has that warp prison available. But um, yeah, it's gonna get away. A few zealots still working on this natural. And that's 25 kills. Definitely a good position for Majestic to be in, but he's still behind as far as workers go. He doesn't have a third available, and that's a pretty huge Roach army, and Hydras are falling behind it. How many Colossi does he have? None as of yet. None as of yet. Oh, actually, there should be one out. Oh, it's over here, down below. I don't think that Red can actually move on top of this army. This is, uh, I mean, he can deny the third for a while, but... Ooh, nice time warp, picks up the warp prison. Colossus moves up to the right side, but he can't really get there. Some really good force fields right on top of that time warp. I think Red's army is gonna melt away here. Yep, as long as the Colossi are on the back, you can just take out all of the Hydras. 
And now he's gonna move across and Liquid Red doesn't have an answer. <laughs> You're too good for me, dude. And there's the GG. 3-1 to one for Majestic. And that wins him 200 euros and earns him a spot to face off against 4GG for another 300 euros. So 200 euros for now and 300 if he wins against 4GG. That's, that's the format here. And... Um, well, maybe maybe he has a chance to grab a grab a little bit of more money if he can fa if he can win against 4GG. If not, we'll uh, see another rotation, and then 4GG will could win 300 euros. Then our final spot for the night is taken up by Nurcho, who could win 400 euros if he wins.